currently in Nebraska following a big lightning storm and it's a little bit close for comfort. So to say that storm chasing down in the plains is different than at home is a complete understatement. These storms are so much larger and faster and more dangerous than anything that I photograph at home. Last several days I've been shooting a lot of time lapse, attempting to get lightning strikes, and I've got uh, several compositions that I like. Having said that though, composition is the hardest part when photographing these storms because you don't have much time in any one location, so you're really left scrambling to find anything to put in your foreground. You end up with a lot of scenes that are just lots of sky and, and a little bit of foreground, so it doesn't give you much time in any one location and it gives you zero time to scout for good composition. So managing all these cameras is a challenge. I've got my A9 and my A7R 4 uh, both shooting time lapse. And area of focus is right back there. So this is how you know you have a good composition. <laughs> you, would, you would think out here in the middle of nowhere you could have a place to yourself, but oh no. Right there is where a tornado would form if something happens. We have lots of inflow. We have lots of conditions that are kind of uh, lining up to suggest that a tornado could pop out back there. Uh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Hopefully we'll be uh, cheering in a few minutes here with the tornado on the ground. Fingers crossed. I mean, what else can you ask for? Beautiful field, tornado, unicorn, you know, we'll take it. I don't see a Sasquatch though. No, no, he ran off a few minutes ago. Rain, inflow bands. It might be tornado time. <laughs> yeah, and I think that that is one of the issues with what's going on right now is we're getting this cold RFD wrapping around. So it looks like the rain is about to hit us and it's tried so hard to form a tornado. It just hasn't quite hasn't quite got all the ingredients it needs. Really beautiful. I think the rain's about to hit us, which means that it's time to pack up and we're probably going to try to catch up with a different storm cell, unfortunately. There's road network is not going to allow us to track this one very much further. It's 
So we've moved over to a different storm cell and this one is shaping up to be pretty awesome. We're pretty much on the southern tip of, of a set of different storm cells. And what's nice about this one is that back here this way, we have all of this nice open sky, which means that we have really nice light that's gonna happen kind of in this area where you get the light kind of undercutting this big impressive storm structure. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of rotation in this cell. So with a little luck, we're gonna get some awesome photos of this thing. So uh, RFD is wrapping around and starting to kick up a lot of dirt. Looks like we got kind of like a, almost like a button funnel above it and uh, a tornado may be imminent within just a couple minutes here. So it's almost time. Look at that. Scott, you see that? Right above. It looks like we may have a tornado going up. It has been a very interesting day. We're on our third storm cell. This one, while it's not producing lightning and, and tornadoes, it is producing this beautiful sky. Really, really cool. Absolutely incredible skies tonight. So we have this particular storm cell that's been rolling in towards us. It has a severe thunderstorm advisory. Obviously there's lots of lightning in it, but just the light that you get at the end of these storms with that sun poking underneath this shelf of cloud is absolutely gorgeous. I've been scrambling around trying to find different compositions, uh, mostly just utilizing the road and a random tree next to the road. but. With a sky like this, it really doesn't take much. This trip has totally reinvigorated me. Re reinvigorated? It's made me excited about photography again. I've just been so enjoying myself so much. 
because you know this type of photography it's not like I'm hiking into a waterfall to photograph a waterfall I'm I you have no idea what you're going to get and you just have to try to like keep up with the storms and it's been so enjoyable <sighs> looks like the storm's getting close to us we have to run but thank you guys so much for watching here are the photos that we got this week hopefully you guys enjoy them as much as I enjoyed taking them take it easy everybody